Hello my fellow chatterers, this is part two of the book ladders and bookworms game for me to work out my tea and taste in seasonal shelf. <laughs> so obviously I spent too long trying to set up the series spin, the camera just turned off from recording. So it just went a little bing bong as I was moving it over to start filming the spin, it had gone. So rookie mistake, note to self, next time set everything up. Just seems a lot of effort if I was never going to land on the series spin though, quite frankly. Anyhow, it is what it is. Quite a lot of my videos are seem to be in several parts at the moment, so we're just gonna go with it. It's fine. Anyway, series spin. I've got my six books. Let's go spin. Oh yeah, sorry. If you've no idea what's going on, there's a part one. I suggest looking at that and then all of this will make sense. Part one. Here. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so for book choice <laughs> number two on the seasonal shelf, we're going to do a series spin. And we have number one, The Hollow Hills by Mary Stewart, which is book two in the Merlin trilogy. Number two, we have Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Book number three, The Titan's Curse. So spin number three is The Lord of the Rings. We have Return of the King, the final one in that trilogy by J.R.R. Tolkien. Number four, I have totally forgotten the name of this series, but the first book was Pillars of the Earth. It is by Ken Follett. This is the second book, World Without End. Spin four, spin number five, we have Oathbringer, the third book in the Stormlight Archive. For spin number six, we have Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman, which is the second book in the Ark of a Scythe trilogy. So let's spin and see what we get. That was quite pathetic. <laughs> but it's on number four. It is World Without End by Ken Follett. So the spinner spun, barely, but here we go. We, the, it landed on Ken Follett's World Without End, which is the second book in whatever this series is. It has got a name. If you look at, what do you call them? Storygraph and Goodreads, it tells you the name of the series when you're looking at the books. Anyway, this is the second one. It is short. It is so massive. It is possibly a dinosaur size book. Um, so that's why <laughs> it's taken a while for me to kind of continue. I did enjoy Pillars of the Earth. It was really good to read a historical book. Um, this one, I believe, is the Tudor time? No, it's not. It's third. So the first one was set in the 1100s. This is set in the 1300s. So we're still medieval. So it's going to be interesting um, to see what's happening in this town 200 years on. Um, so yeah, I am. I do want to read this series. I do. <laughs> I am keen to pick it up. So this might make me do it. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a huge amount of room in my seasonal shelf at the rate we're going because we've got two quite big books. Let's do the third roll for the seasonal shelf. Okay, here we go. Rolling. We have a one and a six. Seven again. It's a popular number. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have a yellow. Oh, that's exciting. We've not had a yellow yet. Here we go. Oh, B. Let's stay there now. Behave, B. Okay, yellow is the genre and age rain cards. So here we go. I'm just going to give them a little shuffle and pick the first one. And that is this one here, which is a contemporary. So I'm going to find a contemporary book and add it to the stack. I have gone for Let's Call It a Doomsday by Katie Henry. I've been trying to read this book for a long time. I've not been trying hard because I'm not I'm often more in the mood for fantasy, so that tends to get most of my love. But I do enjoy YA contemporary. This has got characters that um, suffer from anxiety. Um, two girls meet in sort of a counselling waiting room and um, th both of their anxieties kind of fit towards them planning how to prepare for the end of the world. So it's supposed to be really funny um, and I'm really excited to read it. And I've had this book for a really long time and haven't read it. So... I think I'm being pushed to, now's the time, pick this up. And if I was going to read something right now, I do feel I could easily pick this up because I feel like I, I could be easily in the mood for this. 
We'll see what happens by the time we get around to January, if this actually gets read, but that's my pick. I did it again. I flipped before I paused. Oh, well. Right, this is the fourth roll for the shelf. Three more to go. We have six and a... Seriously. <laughs> I feel like these dice are probably loaded. Maybe foam dice are not the most accurate ones, but hey. Low stakes doesn't matter. Seven again. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a blue, <laughs> which I think is the roll away. So let's go do some more prompts. Oh, come on, B. Stay. I think that uh, the game just wants more chaos. Um, could have been easy. Could have gone for lots of TBR tins. No, 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 no. It wants more camera flipping nonsense going on. Right, so I have added in all the prompts I've previously used from other book games which I've taken out so we get a good viewing of all the different prompts. I've shuffled, let's see what we get. Prompt number one is a well-loved author. Prompt number two is a mouth thanks book less than 300 pages which I think is the third time we've had that today. Um, prompt number three is a feminist book expanding my horizons. Prompt number four, author that starts with, or title that starts with a letter, which I shall draw later, should I get that one? Expanding my horizons, choose a book which explores or includes a protagonist who has a disability or mental health problems. Number five is another expanding my horizons. They're all in here today. Um, a book with an LGBTQ plus protagonist or own voice author. Let's roll and see. Okay, here we go. Let's roll. And we have number four, which is author or title that starts with a particular letter. Okay, I have um, my children's alpha block letters. Let's put it in this very handy fairy loot bag here. I've got to find the book can either start with this letter or the author's name can have this letter as their first name or second name. And it's a P. I just popped in. P. Book title starting with P. Pages and Co. There we go. Book number four chosen. <laughs> so, I said nothing about this. This is a children's middle grade. Um, fant I think it's a fantasy book. Um, could be more magical realism. I don't know because again, don't know a lot about books before going into them but it is about a girl called Tilly her family own a bookshop and she either goes into the books or book characters come out of the books and here we have Alice in Wonderland and Anne of Green Gables love Anne of Green Gables so um excited to see what happens in this book so this is the first one in the series called Tilly and the Book Wanderers as I have not yet started the series let's do roll number five here we go, roll number five, two dice. It's gonna be a three and a five, hooray, it's not a seven. <laughs> so that is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're kidding. <laughs> it's blue again. No, no, no. We've done it too many times, it's boring. So either green or yellow. It's gonna be either green or yellow. Let's, and I'm gonna choose green. It's my thing, it's my rules. It's There's no stakes on this whatsoever. Oh, it's a book letter. Do you know what, it's fine. It's still, we're gonna do green because I've decided. So I've decided that I'm just going to do green because I don't wanna do any more rollaways. It's getting crazy the amount we've done. I just wanna pick a book from a tin. <laughs> rules are there to be broken, everyone. It's my game, totally fine. Two lids. Two lids for the tin. Okay, the book is going to the book is going to be overexcited and jumpy. Oh, Julia and the Shark, which is a children's middle grade, which I will go and get. So this is Julia and the Shark by Kira Millwood Hargrave. It is a children's middle grade, and it is so pretty. The artwork is beautiful. I'm really excited about this. It has um these end pages and it has this sort of like tracing paper 
so that we've got the sharp picture here and we turn the page and it's you can then see the shark over the yellow so pretty um the illustrations are done by coming um tom de freston and it is just so pretty i'm really excited to read this one um so again i don't know a huge amount about it um but it is about this girl called julia <laughs> Um, and it deals with mental health in here. Um, and I hear so many people say so many good things about it. So I can't wait to read it for myself and find out. So we had blue vibes, blue green for the tea and taste. We've kind of got yellowy red for the seasonal shelf. Which does not feel very wintry, but it's fine. We're lighting our own little fires to keep us going. Right, final book. We've nearly made it everyone. Okay, will I be reduced to blatant cheating with the game again? I'll, I'll follow the rules for the next round. Regardless of what it is, I will follow the rules. Okay, two dice. Oh, we have a five. Hold on. You're going to see my horrible floor now. It's full of crumbs and bits of paper because I haven't cleared up. It's a one. Okay, five and one is six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a lucky ladder. Okay, cool. Lucky ladder. There we go. So the final prompt is lucky ladder. Did I remove the last card? I don't think I did. What was that one? Yeah, no, don't remove the last card. There we go. I've removed it now. We'll shuffle again. And I'm choosing this one, which is what is your most anticipated book? <laughs> Oh, no. It doesn't kind of work so well for these kind of making a potential pile because if it's my most anticipated book, I'm going to be reading it soon. So I'm not sure about this one. I'll have a think. So I'm having a bit of a think about this one because most anticipated just makes me think that that's the book that I want to be reading like now. Can't wait for it. So excited for it. So half of my brain is like thinking pre-order books I know are coming in February. <laughs> that's not going to work. And the other half of my brain is, you know, we're well off wintry season yet. I've still got a good month. Um, so I'm currently excited about the reads I've got in December because they're the ones I'm most looking forward to. But that doesn't work for this because my intention is to have read them by December. So... I have finally found a book that hits the criteria, and that is The Mercies by Kieran Millwood Hargrave. And this is because I should have read this because it was my tea and taste book. So I read the chapters, the one I felt the most in the mood for at that time was this one. So I really want to read it. I forgot to put it in my TBR. I'm trying to win my TBR. Then other books have come in, got distracted by library. There's lots of buddy reads going on. This the only person I'd made a commitment to with this book was me. So it, it's got pushed back, 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 back. So I am anticipating, I am very excited about this. It is on a five star prediction thing that I made. Look at the cover as well. Look at all that. Love all of these. I love the colors in it. I love the artwork. It just looks so pretty. I'm excited for this one. It's set in the 1600s, there's witch trials, there's isolated, there's women living isolated on an island um, in the north of, is it Finland? There's some maps in here and it showed you the maps of like how far, not Finland, Norway. <laughs> like this island right, right at the top of Norway. I don't know if you can see here. There's a little map there, there's Norway and there is, the island is located off that. So it's really, really cold, very, very cold. So it's quite a harsh world they're dealing with. There was a big tragic accident, which meant the men folk were kind of wiped out. So it's just mainly kind of the women and children and some, some, some more elderly men that don't go on the fishing boats anymore left in their community. Um, and then you have a stranger come into the community with concerns that perhaps if you have this many women managing things, maybe they're witches, I believe is what happens. And he brings his wife. So... I'm, I don't know any more than that, but I hear really good things and I'm excited. So yeah, this is what I'm anticipating. This is, I'm highly anticipating this. Yes, here we go, done.
Okay, so <laughs> my tea and toast you can see here, or there, there we go, so there, there, we've done those. So we're now focusing on the seasonal shelf ones. These are all gonna be on my winter seasonal shelf. So when I switch all my books around, I'm putting these on the shelf that's really close to my bed so I can notice them the most and feel more inclined to pick them up. So we have Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynne. We have World Without End by Ken Follett. We have, let's call it a doomsday by somebody Henry. Hold on one moment. Katie, Hen Katie Henry. Let's call it A Doomsday by Katie Henry. Pages and Co-Tilling the Book Wanderers by Anna James. Julia and the Shark by Kira Morwood Hargrave um, with Tom DeFreston. And The Mercies, also by Kieran, Kieran Morwood Hargrave. So there we go. This is gonna be in my pile of books on my seasonal shelf. <sighs> that was heavy. <laughs> that was quite heavy. Um, so I might read them over the months of January, February and March. I don't know. We will see what happens. Um, so February um, and March, there are readathons I want to be involved in. January is full of buddy reads. There are some buddy reads occurring. We'll find out if I actually get around to reading those. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed me playing the game. Did you play along too? Have you got some good books lined up for yourself to choose from? Please let me know. I'd love to hear it. Um, have you got any thoughts on my seasonal shelf? Um, are there any of these that you really, really want me to prioritise reading? Let me know why. And um, that might encourage me more to pick those ones up. Thank you so much for watching. Apologies again about the chaos, but it always happens on this channel. Happy reading, everyone.